So this is how you change a fan on a laptop. If your laptop is, laptop is heating up or um, the fan doesn't work properly, then you probably need to replace it. Other than that, it will cost it will cause you a lot of problem, including heating up um, and blowing up your motherboard. So it's best to change your laptop's fan if it's not working properly, or if it's it's completely blocked by dust. Then you need to clean them out. So let's just take these off first. So it's only taking off the screws. Around it, just connect the CD player. You also disconnect the hard drive. All laptop has different location for the hard drive, so but it's not hard to figure it out once you open it. Um, so you make sure every screw that you have in there. You open them uh, before you can reach and completely uh, disclose this then you're gonna have to turn it around the next thing is you need to turn it now most laptop they got a um, you need to open it from this side uh, because uh, it's completely uh, Underneath this keyboard, you got some more um, <clears throat> screws and all that. That need to be opened before it, you actually can get the laptop open completely. As I, the, only, the, the only point that I want to show you is, you can see I can open it. All the laptop, most of them, they got it from here. You can open it from here as well as this one. So if you got this type of uh, shield or let's say cover, which So they just click out from there. You don't want to pull it out because if you pull it, it will, you're gonna break it. So you might as well leave it there and reveal the keyboard and see double connection to disconnect these parts before you actually strip it out. So let's just close this one. Nothing here needs to be forced or pulled out because you, then you're gonna break it or damage it. Let's pull this one out as well. Okay, so we got this one out. Um, underneath here, you can see we got screws and more connections to do disconnect them before completely taking apart so we've got one two more and more screws here probably I don't see now we can see all the connections here needs to be disconnect really really carefully because if any of these were were damaged then you then basically you need to replace that because the laptop won't perform or function um, fully so that's that bear in mind be very careful with these just gonna take it out There's one more in here. Mm. 
mouse pad. Okay, one more here. That's light indicators connection. I think that's about it. That you probably need to lift it up. So while you're lifting it up, you need to be careful. You don't want to um, completely force it because some of these cables are not connected even. You just don't want to damage it. Okay. Uh, so we go. okay, we got a slight problem here. <coughs> This connection here needs to be disconnected because it's causing. Oh so God, this is not enough. So these um, are for Wi-Fi, but you know they need to be disconnected. So, and let's see. They're completely taken off because what well, we could see there, but this has gone through the. Housing. So before doing this, we can't even remove the, the housing or the, the cover. So we need to slowly take this out. Not every laptop got the same uh, kind of configuration of what you call it. Um, Design. There you go. So, because of that, we couldn't remove it. So, now we've got the board removed completely, as you can see here. Now, the next thing is fan. Fan is completely right uh, here. So if you turn around, you might probably need to lift up the board to get the fan disconnected. We got the new fan in here. Uh, there's a new fan in here. We got new, brand new fan for this one. So as I can see, the fan is underneath this logic board. This makes the, the work even harder. So you need to lift the board you know, to be able to get the fan out. So this is the last thing in this laptop that you have to disconnect. You have to be careful with this one. You don't want to um, touch you, any part of the laptop with your screwdriver because may cause any kind of earth or diffuse any problem so basically just keep it keep it really 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 smooth I don't want to do that okay now the next thing is what do you want to do before you uh, actually take this one out you would need to see if on the other side of the laptop if there is any other <clears throat> screw remaining right um, so we have more connection so basically we just took this bit out in These large pieces because this is what it feels like now. Uh, you can't even move it. That looks there is something at the back. We've got to go and check it out. So you can see here we're going to remove the RAM here. That's the memory RAM. Sometimes they got the, the screws underneath here. If they, they have it, you need to remove that. If they don't have it, it's fine. Okay, makes any difference. We've got some common screws here as well. That's the Wi-Fi chip. I 
look at it, it won't come out because this bit is connected to it as well. So this need to disconnect as well, I suppose, because the motherboard won't lift up. But what you could try to do is, let's see. What you could try to do. Right in here. Uh, I'm just trying to see whether you can. So we're just taking out this heat and you can see how bad it looks. Um, but we had to take it out without this, we couldn't take the board out. So we're gonna clean this one as well. So now we can see the board is gone, uh, disconnected. The one left was screw There we go. So completely took the board out because we had no choice. Now the it's time for fun fan. Yeah, take the fan out quickly as possible. There you go. Only to take this one out, we had to do such a work. Good. So we apply the new one in here. There you go. There you go. Now we have to put everything back on in reverse the way we just took it off. So this is how you change your fan. The next process is just to put everything back together as it was the way you took it out. And obviously you see it on the video. There's no point to make a video of it because it's a reverse mode of what you just did. So this is how you change um, the fan on the laptop. Every laptop has got different type of uh, connections and modifications, so you would need to bear in mind. Now, because we took the heat sink off, we need to apply some more fresh heat sink on this one, so it works properly. That's the last um, thing that you want to keep in mind. Other than that, the rest is the same as, as you just took it off. I'm sure, it's just gonna be. So thank you very much guys for watching this video and I'm sure that I'll come up with more videos and, <clears throat> and hopefully, hopefully, <clears throat> so we're just going to put it back together and we're going to video it because it will take the same amount of time that we just recorded it so we Useless. You just can't put it the same way you just took it off. So thanks very much guys for watching this video. Please do share my channel and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Ta-da.